Okay, go. Okay, this is Mr. Hegstead's class for 3D. We are working on a nose. We're going to design it like this, where you have the bridge of the nose. You have different buttons of information that allow parts to be accentuated. Okay, and your nose has two parts here, two cartilage parts, the nostril parts. It'll have the highlights here where it'll, it'll extend out where the, the lip goes. This is an unfinished side. This is the finished side. The septum and where this part of the lip goes, it goes halfway in between and cuts halfway in between the nostril. That's what that line is about, okay? So it cuts right in between. Let's go ahead and begin. We usually did a little uh, pyramid like this, like a, a prism, and we're just going to go fairly fast. The septum here. You have to take some of this, and just add it to it, no big deal. What you're going to do is take this take a little bit more of this clay off the back. You don't need that much. Put the mouth here and you're going to add as you go. There it is right across. Remember it's across right there, halfway in between, so the nostril right there okay now take this right here there's your nostril right there this is really loose you don't want to have to worry about making really tight at the beginning when you're sculpting you want to be able to spend a little bit of time here a little bit of time there not a big amount of time spent on every little part okay because what happens, it turns out to be imbalanced. Now, put your little burger canal there. Turn that in right there. Turn that in right there. Now, when we get this done, then you take a, uh, a wet brush and you can go through and scratch over parts. And we'll show that to you in just a little bit, just like we did with the eye. But this is a water base clay. And you're going to create this so that you can be able to make a mouth out of this. And you're going to add stuff to this and make it look nice. Now, you're just doing the top lip, okay? Do the top lip like that. Turn it. And you can take a little bit of a paper clip. Pull that out right there.
Everything else now is just waiting for it to dry. That's the most of the stuff you have to do. This is a good step for the beginning. Now, I will come on the side here. This is your side of the cheek like this. You're gonna have this cheek right here. Remember, I have this mirror so I can be able to look at myself and I can see that the cheek, you can see how the side of the nose goes and here's the cheek and it comes in. Put a little bit more clay on there. Okay, see how that works. Don't forget that. Now, here's the bridge of your nose. It's a little bit thicker. This will fold, fold down right there, indent here, and indent here. Make sure you're looking at the side. Now, notice that all these little details are here. And there's just kind of quick stuff. You'll let this settle. This clay will need to be, uh, need a lot to, some time to dry. Don't forget that. So notice I'm not trying to build everything just perfect. You're building it up as you go. Now this clay is wet and that's really good right now because that allows you time to play and not mess it up. Now when your hands get dry like this, you gotta be really careful. Spray it just a little bit. You don't want the little small particles sitting and, and landing on this. Also, this if you wet your hands, you can go through and adjust a little bit here and there. Here's the eye socket there. Put that in there like that. And you can, if you want, you can even adjust the eyes. Now, as you're looking at, see, I'm looking at just like this, okay? And you adjust the sides of the nose. Look at it this way, turn it this way, make sure everything matches. Look at the side, the nostrils, for the most part, are higher than the septum. The septum is the middle portion, okay? And then you can be able to adjust as you go. Make sure your mirror is there available for you. You want the mirror to see the different things. Don't make up stuff. Do not make things up because you don't quite understand what is there. And that's what this class is about. Do not draw. Do not sculpt from memory because you will have a rude awakening and it's a waste. Now, now that we've got this, come up above. See how it's just roughed in? So you're roughing it in, okay? Once you get that roughed in, then you can be able to go ahead, add a couple of things to the lips. And then you can be able to take the other portion of the mouth and you can do the lower portion. And that's the first step to this.